ask to begin with an opening statement. And after that, uh, please uh, use the raised hand function to ask questions, and I will call on you individually. Uh, Coach, go ahead. You have to have a first Certainly, a conference is a big deal for us. Uh, you to um, you know, have that happen a little bit this year, but uh, we don't uh, undervalue that at all. We understand how challenging that is, and um, I was really impressed with our team. I thought two things. I thought one is we competed very hard, um, but the second thing is I thought we uh, understood the plan, and the guys really executed that plan well. It doesn't mean everything went well, you know, all the time. Um, you know, Cal made a really nice push early in the second half, and I thought we responded to that. I thought it was really cool how steady we were. Uh, it uh, should which, be a, uh, a really fun Super Bowl, bowl which you'll get to uh, watch. Yeah, it was there, the, the execution of the game plan, and we were able to limit their effectiveness from the three-point line. And uh, for Cal, that's, a, that's a big part of yeah. the um, But, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah. Great to get back on the race. Uh, 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 I hear uh, the radio guys in the back. <laughs> I don't see them on our back. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Um, I think we're good now. So, RJ Abadia, RJ, uh, go ahead with your question. Coach, it seems like even with the guys you've been missing offensively, you're getting into kind of a flow. It feels like you're attacking with five kind of on each possession. Can you just talk about – what's looking good to you out there with the way you guys are playing? Yeah, the way we want to play is we want player movement. We want ball movement. Uh, we want to share the basketball. And then we want to exploit the defense uh, when we can. That could be through matchups. It could be through, you know, who's playing well. Uh, and a lot of times it's just going to happen organically, knowing what our strengths are, are and then playing through that. You know, with Spencer, we want to get him clean looks. We want Oscar to be able to get touches inside. We want JD going downhill. Um, but I think there's a – there's a real intent. There's been an emphasis, um, but also more importantly, an intent by the guys to make plays for their teammates. And I think that's starting to show. All right. Next and, question. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Go ahead. I'm good. Okay. Uh, next question is from Els Boone. Go ahead, Els. Hey, coach. Uh, over the last few games, it seems like there's been a different freshman step up and have a great performance. Uh, Michael's been pretty consistent since he stepped in the starting lineup. Noah, the last game in tonight, and then Max played pretty well in the first half today. How happy have you been uh, with the freshman class's contributions so far this season, and how have they lived up to your expectations for them? Well, how cool was it in the second half when it's a really meaningful time? I looked out there and I saw Oscar and then four freshmen and felt very comfortable. So that's a pretty cool feeling as a coach that um, – I didn't feel like we needed to put other guys in that could, you know, let the freshmen play and learn and grow. And I think that's a positive sign for the program moving forward. So I have confidence in them. Max today was fantastic. That first half really gave us a nice spark. What Michael's doing is um, his steadiness, um, his leadership is, uh, you know, I've, I've said it many times now, it's, um, it's really remarkable. And, um, you know, the, the freshman class, Noah, was really good today. Um, attacking the basket, making better plays, understanding. But a lot of that, you have to have experience to really let it shine through. And I want to be able to get those guys as much experience as possible. And I think today they got that and they're starting to uh, improve. Next question is from Michael Roberson. Go ahead, Michael. All right, Coach. Uh, you had a double-digit lead at halftime. Cal got it as close as three. You guys uh, took back over. So great performers by Oscar, double double, and then of course Jaden has been playing very well this year, especially without your three starters. So how can you assess those two players? Um, they were really good. I mean, they're really you know a cornerstone, two of the cornerstones. <laughs> we have multiple corner cornerstones, I think, of what we're doing right now. Um, Jaden, his consistency over this stretch has been really good. Oscar's consistency all year has really been remarkable. I didn't think he played his best game, and nor did he against USC, and he responded today very, very well. You know, when you have somebody like an Oscar's position with with you know four assists, it's not just the points, it's not just the rebounds. He really does so much and, and has leadership skills out there as well. Uh, Jaden's continuing to learn um, how to play within the offense, and it's really cool to watch. He, he's growing every day, and uh, well, his points may you know fluctuate higher or lower each game. Um, his understanding of the offense, understanding, appreciating his teammates, and looking for them. I think that part's getting better each day, and that's been fun to see. Uh, are there more questions for Coach Hass? 
All right, Steve, uh, Steve Croner, go ahead, Steve. Yeah, Darren, I'll ask you two quick ones if I could. One, saw a video of you in the locker room, I think after UCLA and after Arizona, and it was understandably giddy. Was tonight similar or was tonight maybe a little more subdued? Um, it, it, well, I didn't get, you know, uh, showered with water or anything like that. Um, there's, a, there's definitely excitement. It's, it's um, that kind of thing, but it is a little bit, I say less subdued, but very, uh, for a reason, we turn around and play again uh, instantly. And I, you know, I, I want to make sure they enjoy this tonight. Really understood why we had success, but try and turn the page as fast as we can to get focused and get our minds healthy and our bodies healthy as fast as we can. So they didn't shower with me with water, but that does not uh, diminish how important this game was. Right. And just following up what you just said, uh, Mark Fox on his Zoom call basically said that uh, Oscar De Silva is the player of the year in the Pac-12. I'm guessing you would not dispute that, would you? No, I wouldn't. And, um, you know, I don't get too caught up in that stuff. And um, I hope I'm not hurting Oscar by not trying to, you know, push it. Uh, the reality is I believe um, he should be the face of not only the, our team, uh, the Pac-12, but nationally. I mean, what he is as a person, what he is as a scholar athlete, what he is as a leader, what he means to this team. Um, it's everything that the NCAA uh, is about and, you know, kind of the core values and the mission of the NCAA. And I mean, there's, there's somebody playing on my team right now that exemplifies uh, every positive thing about college athletics and college basketball. And I sure hope whether he gets that award or not, I sure hope that, um, people understand not only regionally, but nationally, uh, what a special, special person and player he is. Thank you. All right, I don't see any further questions. So uh, thank you very much, Coach. And uh, we'll, I'm sure, have a player shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever.